Howdy. Today we're going to take a look at a solution to the exercise uh, that we did in the fourth lecture, which was taking a arena allocator that worked, but that never actually reused arena allocated memory, and change it into one that works, but does reuse arena allocated memory. So, little review. Here's the way an arena allocator works. First, the user program, which is on the left here, asks for a new arena. The arena create function asks the system allocator for a bunch of memory, but doesn't return any of that memory to the user. When the user then asks to allocate a chunk, the arena allocator returns those chunks to the user program. The user program then frees the chunks, you know, which is supposed to make, mark those chunks as free within the arena allocator so that future allocations can allocate them back. But that's not actually what our arena allocator does. If we look at our arena allocator, our arena allocator is based on, a, an arena consists of a list of groups. So how do I know it's a list? Well, we see that there's a next pointer, which is connecting one group to the next. That's, anytime you see a, a, a member labeled next, you should think linked list. Also, if we look down here at membench alloc, we can see that we're allocating a new group and then linking it up to the list, which is stored in arena group. So the new group goes at the head of the list. So the next pointer of the new group equals the old list. And then we set the new list to be the new group. So that's how singly list, linked lists are built. We also sort of you know, have a hint here in the comment that there's a singly linked list of groups. Also, I wrote the code, so I know it's a singly linked list, but so it goes. What does membench alloc do? So membench alloc makes sure that there's a group with space. That's what this first uh, if statement does. Then, if there is a group with space, it picks the ch next chunk in order. So the chunks are in an array. So we pick the zeroth, then the first, then the second, then the third, and return it. So this important statement here, plus plus g pause, is what actually allocates the chunk. Once we advance pause, we know that the next allocation call will not reuse that pause. Okay? So what happens when the membench program tries to free a chunk? What happens is nothing. And that's the problem that we're aiming to solve. Does this program induce memory leaks? There's a way that it does. There's a way that it doesn't. Let's talk about why it doesn't. So first off, to check that it doesn't, I'm going to compile with the sanitize argument and then run my program. So I'm running membench arena with the sanitize argument on, and when it completes, I see no reports. Uh, no news is good news. This means that there are no memory leaks. Let's confirm that there are no memory leaks by adding a memory leak, and then we will rerun it with the sanitize argument. I'm just going to comment out this line so we're not freeing the arena. We're freeing all of the groups inside the arena, but we're not freeing the arena itself, which is this little structure that just contains a group pointer. It's an eight byte structure. Okay, so make with sanitize equals one, run membench arena. Up, oh, we get a memory leak. Okay, so the leak sanitizer is correctly detecting our memory leaks. We see that it would detect a memory leak. Um, and so earlier it didn't. We know that there are no overall memory leaks in this program. Now, why is that? That's because when the arena destroy function is called, we're returning all of the relevant memory to the system. Okay? So overall, there's no memory leak. However, this arena does contain a sort of arena level leak in that it never reuses memory. If a chunk is freed, that chunk is not reused. That's the problem that we're aiming to solve. Okay? So we're allocating chunks in order by sort of advancing a, by advancing an index forward. Can we free chunks in the same way? Unfortunately, we can't. And the reason is that chunks might be freed in a different order than they were allocated. So this code always allocates chunks in the order 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we might free chunks in the order 4, 7, 8, 0, 1, 3. Because there's no order to the freeze, because the user determines in what order we freeze, we can't use a simple integer index to count what is free and what is not. 
Rather, we need some other structure. We need a list of integer indexes, or we need a list of pointers. Now, the point of this exercise was to encourage us to use a list of pointers. So let's do that. Think about what a chunk contains. A chunk is either allocated or freed. If it's allocated, it's user-owned memory. The user can put anything inside of an allocated chunk. We have no control over it. If it's freed to the user, the memory is inaccessible. and We can put anything into that memory that we want. So let's call this, instead of just a chunk, let's mark this list as a chunk or free, where a chunk or free is a union. The union is used because this same piece of memory might be one thing, either, in other words, allocated, or another, in other words, free. So for right now, what we're going to say is that a chunk or free is either a chunk or it's a free thing, which right now, let's just say that it's an array of one character. Okay, we'll see in a minute, we'll put something actually meaningful in there, but right now this is just a placeholder. Okay, if I try and compile this code now, it will not compile because we're taking a chunk or free and casting it to a chunk. However, unions are laid out in memory so that every component of the union has the same address as the union. In other words, a pointer to a chunk or free is the same address as the pointer to the chunk inside of it. And it's the same address as the pointer to the free inside of it. So we can make this compile by simply casting this, this pointer which is a pointer to a chunk or free, to a chunk star. Okay? This is, this will have exactly the same object code as the earlier code, because it, there, all we've done is we've changed the types for the compiler. We haven't changed what the compiled code actually does. All the objects have the same size. There's another way to do this, though, which is we can change this pointer to be a pointer to the chunk embedded inside the chunk or free. Okay? So if we have a union, if we have a chunk or free object, then f.c is the name of the embedded chunk. Just like if we have a struct chunk, and well, if sorry, if we have a struct mem group, then mem group, then that g, then g dot pause is the, uh, is the name of the embedded uh, pause variable. We're using a dot rather than an arrow because arrows are used with pointers. And g arrow chunks, the type of this highlighted uh, expression is not a pointer to a chunk or free, it is a chunk or free. So we access a component over a chunk or free using the dot operator. Okay, so this should compile as well. And it does. And again, that'll behave exactly the same as our earlier code. So now we have a chunk or free. What can we do with free? Well, think about what free does. Free takes a chunk, which we know is the same as a chunk or free, right? Every chunk that gets passed to us as an argument to membench free is required, or otherwise undefined behavior, to have been returned by an earlier call to membench alloc. Therefore, we know that this chunk points to a previously allocated chunk or free inside one of our groups, okay? So when we get that chunk, what we should do is we should make that chunk available for allocation. So how do we make something available for allocation? What we need to do is put that allocation, that chunk or free, onto a list of things or a set of things, you know, anything you want, I'm giving you a hint with list, that are available for allocation later. So here's where things start getting interesting. We want to have a set or a list of things that are available for allocation later. Let's call that a free list. A free list starts out as empty.
null is always an empty list. So how are we going to add something onto the free list? We get a chunk, we want to put it onto the arena's free list. So we know that the chunk is the same as a chunk or free. So in order to get a chunk or free from the chunk, we can just cast it. The addresses are the same, so everything will work out. What we want to do is we want to say that that chunk or free is now available for later allocation. We're going to put it onto the free list. Of course, this is not how we add something to a singly linked list, or a doubly linked list, or any kind of list. Because you'll notice, we just blew away the old value of arena free list. So what we need is some way to link free chunks together. That sounds like a pointer. If we go back up to this chunk or free, what we want is a next pointer that's only going to be used for free chunks. There it is. Okay? So a chunk or free is now a union that contains either a chunk or a next pointer, where the next pointer points to the next free chunk. So here's how we link up the list in total. CF, which is a chunk or free. Next, which is the next pointer element of the chunk or free, equals the previous value of the free list. Okay? We now have a free list. However, we haven't used the free list. Let's just check that everything is working out okay. This is without the sanitize argument, no crash. If we add the sanitize argument, crossing my fingers, still no crash. If I use the user bin time program, I'll get a report of how much memory this is using. So what we see here is 537720 max resident. That says that we're using 537,000 kilobytes of memory at the peak. Okay, try and remember that number. I'll just type it in so it's in my history. 537720K. Okay. Not bad. Now, let's actually reuse the elements of the free list once they're available. So, look at membench alloc. What should we do if we already have a free chunk on the free list? Well, we might as well return it. It's free. There's no problem with returning a free chunk. So what I'm suggesting is something like this. If the arena free list is non-null, then what we want to do is pop or remove from the singly linked list, pop from the head, a free chunk, and return it. How can we do that? Well. Free list is a chunk or free, so the chunk component of the free list looks like this. If you don't get that, think about the types. An alternate way, again, because of the way union work, unions work, the exact same result is obtained like this. One. There are people who prefer not to see casts in their code because casts are sort of scary. So either of these are fine. I'm going to use this version, which makes the types more explicit. So we're taking a free list, and the result of the allocation is the pointer to the embedded chunk. Okay, So that tells us what chunk we're going to return from the free list. Now we need to update the free list to remove that chunk, or free. So arena free list equals what? Well, it equals the, the, the contents of the next pointer. Arena, free list, next. Return result. Okay, if I'm right, this should work. We'll do it first with sanitize equals one. Ah, request for member C in something not a structure or a union. Free list is a pointer, it's not a union. 
This is the difference between this expression, which is a chunk or free, and this expression, which is a pointer to a chunk or free. Thank you, compiler. You fixed it. You fixed my brain. Again, this is this this should be exactly equivalent to the version that just contains the caps. Okay, we made it with sanitize. Membench Arena. No sanitize errors. Looks good. Let's use user bin time. Look at that. 36672 max resnet. So we reduced the maximum, we reduced the peak size of memory usage of this program by more than a factor of 10. Okay? That's a pretty good hint that we are correctly using our free list. Really, this is the end of the exercise. That's enough. But there's one more thing that we could do if we wanted, just to sort of like clean up the code. You don't always need to clean up the code. There are always arguments for and against cleaning up the code. But just for your understanding, let's try and go through that now. The reasoning is, once we have a free list, a free list completely suffices for uh, managing free memory. Right now we have two mechanisms for using for managing free memory. We have pause, which is used when a group is new, when a group is fresh, and we have the free list, which is used when the group for elements that have already been allocated at least once. Do we need both of those? Not really. We can get away with only the free list as long as when we allocate a group, we add all of its chunk or freeze to the free list proactively. So this is what we're going to do now. The membench group new function, we're going to give it a membench arena argument. And when we allocate the membench group, we're going to go through all of its embedded chunks. So we go up to group size. And for each chunk, we're going to append that chunk to the free list. So the group's ith chunk is a chunk or free. Its free list member becomes a free list. This is exactly the same code as we have below for adding things onto the free list. And then a's free list becomes a pointer to the ith chunk. So what this does is when we allocate the group, we just add everything onto the free list. So arena free list equals null, and then we create the arena. So why did I do that? We need to initialize the free list argument before calling membench group new at this po point, because membench group new actually modifies and reads the arena's free list. Okay, now that we have that, all allocations are happening through the free list. So that means that all allocations will end in that code. If there is no free list, what do we do? We allocate a new group. We don't even need to return. So, so what, well, we do, actually. We need to allocate a new group and add it to the singly linked group list, just as we did before. Now this code that allocates a free chunk using the pause argument is redundant. Everything is on the free list. Make sanitize equals one. Okay. Chunk or free has no member using named free list. Of course, its member is not named free list. Its member is named next. So chunks i dot next equals free list. Make sanitize equals one. Up. Oh, one more error. G is undeclared. Membench group new. Sorry, compiler. Membench arena. No errors. User bin time membench arena. Nice and small resonance set size. Let's make without the sanitize one equals equals one argument. And time membench malloc. Three seconds, 
Men Venturina. One second, about one third as much, not far off the time of our Men Bench Cheat, which does no allocation at all. Thanks.